Good morning. Today is Wednesday, May the 13th, 2020. Uh, welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. I'm so thankful that you're here starting your day in God's Word. This morning I'll be reading Psalm 33. Uh, I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. Uh, and this morning, just to be reminded uh, that our God is mighty and powerful and over all things. Here's our prayers and is always with us. Uh, in all times, even in our final moments, we are never alone. Let us begin our time together with the word of prayer. Let us pray. Behold, Lord, an empty vessel that needs to be filled. My Lord, fill it. I am weak in the faith. Strengthen me. I am cold in love. Warm me and make me fervent that my love may go out to my neighbor. I do not have a strong and firm faith. At times, I doubt and am unable to trust you altogether. O oh Lord, help me. Strengthen my faith and trust in you. In you, I have sealed the treasure of all I have. I am poor, you are rich and came to be merciful to the poor. I'm a sinner, you are upright. With me, there is an abundance of sin. In you is the fullness of righteousness. Therefore, I will remain with you, of whom I can receive, but to whom I may not give. Amen. So an opening prayer, this is a prayer from Martin Luther, um, just speaking of our, our weakness and our need for the Lord. So let's uh, move to our reading to Psalm 33. <clears throat> Let the godly sing for joy to the Lord. It is fitting for the peer to praise him. Praise the Lord with melodies on the lyre Make music for him on the ten-stringed harp. Sing a new song of praise to him. Play skillfully on the harp and sing with joy. For the word of the Lord holds true, and we can trust everything he does. He loves whatever is just and good. The unfailing love of the Lord fills the earth. The Lord merely spoke and the heavens were created. He breathed the word, and all the stars were born. He assigned the sea its boundaries and locked the oceans in vast reservoirs. Let the whole world fear the Lord, and let everyone stand in awe of him. For when he spoke, the world began. It appeared at his command. The Lord frustrates the plans of the nations and thwarts all their schemes. But the Lord plans, the Lord's plans stand firm forever. His intentions can never be shaken. What joy for the nation whose God is the Lord, whose people he has chosen as his inheritance. The Lord looks down from heaven and sees the whole human race. From his throne he observes all who live on the earth. He made their hearts, so he understands everything they do. The best equipped army cannot save a king, nor is great strength enough to save a warrior. Don't count on your war horse to give you victory. For all its strength it cannot save you. But the Lord watches over those who fear him, those who rely on him, his unfailing love. He rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him, our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. Word of God, word of life.
So again, a reminder this morning of our mighty and amazing God uh, with whom we find strength and with whom we find hope. So let us uh, close our time together with a word of prayer. And I again encourage you to uh, send any prayer requests that you might have. You can send them through Facebook or through the church's website or using the uh, contact information on the website to call the church office uh, to submit those prayers. I'm thankful that you're here. Let us pray. Eternal God, amid all the turmoil and changes of the world, your love is steadfast and your strength never fails. In this time of danger and trouble, be to us a sure guardian and rock of defense. Guide the leaders of our nations with your wisdom, comfort those in distress, and grant us courage and hope to face the future. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. My prayer is that you have a joy-filled day. Know that God hears your prayers. Uh, know that you are loved by God and you're loved by us. We love you. We miss you. Uh, and until I see you again, peace be with you.